Welcome to Immediate Review. So, um, in response to watching Wonder Woman 1984, we needed a, um, palette a, a palette, palette like, detox. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we watched the original Wonder Woman. It's hard watching this after watching 19, Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, we're probably going to rag on Wonder Woman 84 periodically throughout yeah. this. Go it's watch, hard, our, it's hard go watch our review. It's yeah, hard not on. to after watching this after watching 1984 because this film is just so dramatically different it just yeah. highlights all of the all of the lacks that uh 1984 has it's just everything that uh, everything it lacks you know yeah. like everything 1984 doesn't do right this one does right yeah. it has all the stuff that you feel like it needs they even had like even the scenes that they that they homage to like the her, you know diana trying clothes on compared to steve trevor it's just done so much better yeah. and it uh, has a function and a purpose yeah exactly and, and it doesn't go on too long. No, yeah, this entire movie, every frame is focused on, like, character development or the plot. There there really aren't any wasted scenes whatsoever, like, and it balances yeah. it so well. I didn't realize just how, like, plot and exposition-heavy uh, Wonder Woman 84 is, and it's just so overstuffed. And there are just so many subtle little character moments, not just for Diana, but for the entire group. Yeah, the, whole, the uh, group. Uh, and just everyone, Thompson, you little bastard. Everyone is just so well developed. Get the fuck out of here, you <laughs> uh, Everyone is just so, it just feels so real. And uh, from, uh, Hippolyta and Antiope, and just uh, Wonder Woman's like goals and wants and needs and. The and emotional flaws. range of this film. Yeah. And, and the, uh, like, I, I will say the, the side characters, even with uh, with Steve, you know, like the, the, sni uh, the sniper who, you know, sees ghosts and deals with PTSD and how she confronts him about being a coward and how, like... You know, like that. That's like the 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 world that they live in, and you know, an actor who's been uh, and, racially discriminated against, and like going back to the sniper guy, and then they find out after they have a good th that he can sing, and that that brings him joy, and then she latches onto that, not his failings as a sniper, yeah, man. and that boosts him up enough to be able and to that that scene at the like, end when they're like sitting there behind the the cover, and they're like asking for ammo and whatnot, like, and and they're just like, no, I don't, I got nothing in it. Shows the Germans like heading over to him, and they just like they hug each other. It's like that got me emotionally. It's just like fuck. Like they like this if movie, they were to die, it's like that's sad. This like, movie develops like eight characters extraordinarily well, and Wonder Woman eighty four couldn't handle four. Yeah, like I care about the characters with a longer like, runtime. And not only that, but like Wonder Woman eighty four is going for this joyful feel, and it doesn't nail it. Like. The original Wonder Woman has so many scenes of like just genuine joy and like all these moments where it's just like silent moments where Gal Gadot does so many like things with just her face and her body language that communicate and the her emotional will state. Fit in oh, the blend. sound! Oh, yeah, the score is so much better in this one and, oh, and, more and so much simple. more impactful. Like Hans mm -hmm. Zimmer's score in the in the other one is very um, yeah j and j yeah just oh just busy just mm -hmm. super busy you know like a, a lot of the lessons that you will learn when you learn music is like sometimes it's not the notes that you play but the notes you don't play and yeah like, Jaws the Jaws theme what are we doing yeah exa da -da. exactly da -da. I mean and like uh, you know which is strange because Hans Zimmer is actually known for no I know like, he, he, he does notes. he does I mean, the, he, I mean he he seriously like his his Interstellar score fucking blows me the fuck away like he, he no is no, a, no he shit is, talk on Hans is Zimmer a in general legendary but fucking his score composer. for Wonder Woman 84 blows it does not fit it it, not it, like I, I don't think it's bad I don't think it's bad it's just it's not it doesn't fit the movie no and it, like it just, Cheetah's theme is fucking bad okay as now shit, this is turning into fit. a Wonder Woman 84 <laughs> okay. review okay we gotta, <laughs> we gotta go back it sets up so much too for a sequel and there are a so few much. elements that are diminished because of Be 84. Because of 84, as well. like not horribly, not like prequel levels, but like just Just like her relationship with Steve Trevor and how she reacts after he dies and and her coping with that grief and her grief with Antiope. Like you brought up Peter like while we were watching the film, oh, this person who basically like raised her was her second mother like dies early on in the film and like we don't hear anything else about, like, she's honoring her memory throughout. Why is this guy that she knows for a week 
like so special because they banged once. Like it's it's just those kinds of yeah. Things. And the, the other thing is like the relationship with um, with her mom too mm-hmm. is like very. Um, strained in this i would say you yeah know, her mom's overprotective yeah and in the next one she's younger than when her mom finds out that she's a uh that she's training that she's training and uh she's doing like a competition and whatnot and, and more advanced things than she's against doing adults. when she's older yeah and it's like it, and what is what does the mom fit. say like the world's not ready for all the things that you'll do but in this one when she's uh older than that she's like no training <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's like i don't know um, I, I think that that's like one of the things that's just like, you know, how do you, how do you mess that up when you make the, when you made the movie? Like, cause you didn't write the first one. Yeah, I guess that's true. You know? And, and, and yeah, I, I and, and we talked about this too. How like we, um, I wouldn't say idolize, but really look up to and respect, uh, writer directors, you know, like Ari Aster, um, Tarantino, Nolan, um, and so you kind of get used to that mindset of like, you know, oh, a writer director, you know, they come, they come in and, uh, you know, they're, they're writing it. And so they know what the story was before and after, and they can piece those things together. And so that's not necessarily the case here. Um, I don't know how many people wrote, uh, 1984, but I, three, I don't believe it was the same. Was it the same person that did no. uh, the original? No. Oh, okay. yeah. So, uh, one big complaint about this movie that I, I just feel is just so overblown is that uh, people say the third act sucks. And, uh, man, Only the I, CGI. I heavily disagree with that. And see, I think that's what it is. It's not that the third act sucks. It's that it just the third act does things that every superhero movie mm-hmm. does. And it doesn't feel as unique as the first, you know, two hours of the movie. And so it's has a different feel, but I do not think it sucks. I think uh, the fight with Ares really just like solidifies her power, solidifies the themes and her struggle and uh, the whole love conquering all. Yeah, and the speech she gives not... to Ares is a million times better than like, do you know the truth? Do you see the Renounce truth? Renounce your wish. Renounce, Renounce your, your wish. wish. <laughs> oh and it has more weight because he's a fucking god. Mm. And yeah, I like, so I will say the speech is like the cheesiest thing that happens in the movie. I like, think it's fine though. At the end, I no, think it's I, just, but it I fits. the emotionality. Like, and, it and, and, and it, it fits and it, it fits into the theme that they're trying to do. And I think that the, the big thing is that it, um, you know, it's like, it's action packed. Like we see her fucking do crazy shit with the fucking lasso of truth. That we don't see her do in like 84 and that's her main weapon. And if you, you know? think that scene sucks, you must hate Wonder Woman 84 because not a single action scene is half as good. No. All The whole script is that cheesy. It's just <laughs> as cheesy as the... So, so that, that's the thing that like... There are cliches that are just like him yelling like, no, oh, and there are villain cliches and do it, kill it. And, and yeah, there, there's like the sequence where she's like flying down the fucking runway and like beating the shit out of Nazis and stuff. Like that's cool. That's yeah. cool to me. Like I, Beating up I mean, Nazis they weren't Nazis. Is always cool. They weren't Nazis at that point. Beating up World War One. Pre Nazis. They're pre Nazis. <laughs> eventual Nazis always cool. <laughs> They're gonna be if they survive. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the third act is great. I, I love the Ares reveal. Um, how they handle Steve Trevor's death and uh, the the fight with with Ludendorff. I I think the plot twist is done very well. Every single action scene in this movie is done exceptionally well. And, like on Themyscira with all the Amazons versus the Germans. Yeah. Like that is so much more badass than every single scene. The effects that they do when when she actually like stabs Ludendorff, you know, they have like a shockwave go out and all the power goes out and whatnot. And you're kind of like brought into it of like, oh shit, was she, was she fucking right? And she stands up and it's like, she's like triumphant. It's kind of doing the hero shot and the music drops and swells down. And it's like the, the crowds of people around, oh, go throw that up and nobody's stopping. And then she goes into full blown panic attack mode. It's fucking brilliant. You start to believe that, uh, basically everything Diana says is basically right. Mm-hmm. Uh, because every time people are like, oh, you shouldn't do that, she does it and it works in their advantage. And then so when she's like, Ludendorff is Ares and everyone's like, you're crazy, shut up. It's like we've kind of gotten used to her being yeah, right. Yeah, her, her being, being right, right in that, that sense. Yeah. And uh, she's totally wrong. Yeah, and you and already get two villains, so you really don't expect a third one to pop up. Mm-hmm. And so there's three villains 
and they but pull it's it off. Not, yeah, extremely it's not well. overdone because the other guy's in the background the whole time. And they establish the Aries strings. in the like first ten minutes yeah. of the movie, yeah. and, and that's that's one thing that I that I really like because I never, um, you know, whenever I see big actors, I'm always just like, huh, like I wonder what they're gonna be in this movie. Like, why did they get cast specifically? And that's what I was thinking the first time that I saw this, and when he just like has this tiny little slice and then disappears, I was just like, there's no fucking way. They're just like, he's coming in the third act. Like, there's something going on. And when it turned that out he was Ares, I was like, holy shit, hell yeah. Like, that's so fucking cool. I think I think he's cool as Ares, especially when he fucking comes out of the fire in full armor. His voice fucking works for it. Like, I... Yeah, I, better than fucking, fucking Cheetah, cool. the Cheetah fight. Are you kidding yeah, me? Like, that's the thing. Every, fight. almost every complaint I've heard about this movie applies to Woman, Wonder Woman 84. And, like, not this movie yeah. whatsoever. Like, uh, Gal Gadot being a bad actress. Like, the villain's not working. The third act sucking. Like... I, I've, I've always yeah. argued against all those complaints and then I see 84 and I'm like, okay, this is that movie. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is a movie everyone's been talking about. <laughs> yeah. Wonder Woman smashing the patriarchy is woven in so much better and so much more subtly yeah. and realistically in, in this film. And it like falls to the wayside like they totally forgot that that was even a thing in 84 whereas here it's like front and center but it's not like in an obnoxious like sort of like oh we'll just throw in a couple lines here and there it's like a this is the it world that she's coming into struggle, this yeah. yeah the struggle as opposed to making it all about her and saying quippy things to men like it's like her actually like challenging like things and like because she's just kind of confused people. by it she doesn't understand because she comes from an island full like where it's all women and you know that's not a thing um, and so she just chant like it's it's just like she's just like what that makes no sense and it and so she challenges it and then Steve Trevor is constantly the face of that and, but he he learns from her like that's the thing is it's it's not one of those films where it's like ham fisted or like all the male characters are a caricature or anything like that like they learn from her and all the misogynistic characters who aren't villains learn from her and the main villain oddly enough isn't misogynistic he's like lifting up this female scientist it's just a very interesting dynamic that you don't see yeah it's very it's complex often. it's not black and white yeah well and, and in that regard i'll say that like in terms of the guys the fuck are they gonna do about it like <laughs> she, she, yeah. diana's she gonna could, go around she, and do whatever the oh, fuck no, she, she wants. during the bar <laughs> scene during the bar fight scene she demonstrates that yeah, exactly. they're doubting her they're doubting and, her and then that fight breaks out and they're like okay and in um, ludendorff's situation on. like um if he don't, if he don't praise that girl, he gonna get poisoned. It's, <laughs> it's, the same way. it's like these powerful women like demonstrating that. But even like Etta gets a chance. Like even though it's Aries giving her that position, like she finally gets a chance. And she's like, "Whoa, I get to fucking run the instead of having to to be told what to do, I get to tell you guys what to do." Fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Like I've just been like f fighting for the vote over here, and now I get to run a whole fucking mission. Hell yeah! And it's just like stuff like that where it's not like overwrought, and it's like Wonder Woman listening to the women and the children doing something about it versus just brushing it off as just you know what th th that's just something we can't do anything about. Like mm -hmm. it's just all these things that, and then in '84 that gets completely brushed to the wayside and the only person that deals with anything even remotely related to that is cheetah it's handled the only poorly. thing 84 does is try to have like just the men are creepy that's it average like <laughs> creepy encounters but they don't really go you could cut them out in the movie would be basically the same aside from cheetah don't beat up your rapist or like what? What sucks is it, the 80s is like the perfect background for addressing some of those issues because that's when women were really starting to like rise in prominence in business and stuff and like have like they coming have up against pads. the glass, coming up against those glass <laughs> no, ceilings yeah, right. and like those positions, like, like the position that Wonder Woman and and um, Barbara hold there, like that's a boys club sort of situation that could have been acknowledged in some way or like, and they kind of do it with every single man like leering at her when she goes to that thing and like hitting on her and same with Barbara, but it's like. They don't really go beyond that. And then she's just like lovesick for Steve Trevor and her whole identity is tied up in Steve Trevor. And that's the big thing that I think this one does better is Wonder Woman's identity in the first film 
it's very much tied to her these ideals and yeah, she has goals and, and her and goals and her like she learns things and she learns from people and like she the way she approaches the world has to do with her identity and when she has like that whole crisis with Aries and all of that it's because her identity is wrapped up in that this is what I'm supposed to do this is what the world's all about this is my purpose God, this and then sucks. in 84 it's just I'm sad that Steve Trevor has been da- dead for 70 years my you know, I wish he was back, and that's all my purposes, and I'm just lonely. He's back. Oh no, wishes and yeah, it's, your wish. it's just un unclear. Her identity's not clear. Her identity's tied up in all these other things that make no sense. By, by the way, person at A and I have seen eighty four. We've seen it three times, three times now, so it is. We are very familiar very, with how much it sucks. Very, it is very not just a knee jerk reaction. Yeah, no. Like uh, Peter's only seen it once, but uh, yeah, he confirmed how much it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, it'll take me a little while to watch it again. I need a, I need a break. Yeah, no. <laughs> Dakota made us I've watch it. I've been waiting three years for this. Day. So I no day, did the day after it was it was two days. I was but, like, uh, really? But because uh, I've been waiting for this for three years, and I I want to analyze it. You know, I'm not the type of person I love studying and rewatching things, and especially why they don't work. And so yeah, when '84 came out, yeah, I wanted to study it again. And now that I my disappointment had right. set in and I could look at it from a purely, why doesn't this work? Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, the first Wonder Woman, it's amazing. Person A, final thoughts. It does all the things well. It just makes sense, if that makes any sense. Like, you understand where every character is coming from. When there are those, like, little exposition-y scenes of this is why I'm doing that, like, it falls into place and it fits and it makes sense and it doesn't you don't have like a million other questions of why this how that what 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 um which yeah, is a lot of my issues with with 1984 this just like it's because it's a simple plot sense there's never been another one that made me want to see it six times in yeah, theaters like and like the i was thinking one, about yeah. there are more like i think important ones but even like the dark knight i was like man there are like 30 minutes of that movie that i don't really care about in terms of wonder woman i'm just I am in it. I mean, and, the, the, uh, one, the one, the one, the superhero movie I've seen the most is the original Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love it so much. I will say that, like, in terms of joy, like, immediate, like, joy throughout the film, like, Birds of Prey did, did that more oh, yeah, for yeah. me. But, like, it's, that's this, not really a, I mean, it's but this is well rounded in terms of, like, all the feels. It's not an all the feels movie. Whereas with Birds of Prey, I was just like, Fuck yeah, the whole goddamn movie. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So so yeah, what did you guys think of uh, 1984? What do you think of the original Wonder Woman? Yeah, do you have any critiques for it? Do you, are we wrong? Is 84 better than the 2017 that's, version? That's, do you a, hate that's women? That's not a serious question. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Snyder Cut is coming. We've got a review of the original Justice League. Uh, we're gonna. We got fan requests for Man of Steel, so we're gonna have to review that, and then we're gonna do Batman. Uh, v. We're gonna do Batman v Superman. <laughs> yeah, we, we're our, gonna be eating Jolly Ranchers the entire yeah. time. Check out our um, our trailer reactions for Wonder Woman 1984 Snyder Cut. Yeah, see how excited we were. <laughs> so Contrast excited. that with our disappointment. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.